Deliberate Devil's latest updates, Eric Ten Hag's team loses its first game since Cristiano Ronaldo was fired, Cadiz 4 Man United 2. In a friendly against the Spanish team Cadiz, Manchester United suffered their first defeat since Cristiano Ronaldo quit the team last month. Eric Ten Hag's team had a terrible start when Carlos Garcia gave the Spanish team the lead before Choco Lozano made it too. Then, Kobe Mainu, 17, made it 2-2 with a goal after Anthony Marshall had pulled one back with a penalty. However, goals from Ruben Sabrino and Thomas Alarcon gave the La Liga team the victory. The Man United manager discussed the match generally in a post-game interview with Much. The key takeaway from the interview was that there were more downsides than benefits. He will undoubtedly try to make his team appear more sharper than they did today, when they fell down 2-0 after just 18 minutes. Unfortunately, the true pressing question, who was this man on the bench toying with his lips, went unanswered. The weekend's major test is coming up. The second game of their mini-tour of Spain will be the tougher of the two, and Eric Ten Hag will lead his team into it. Real Batiste is currently tied for 6th place in La Liga with the two teams above them in points, with just goal differential separating the three teams. They will undoubtedly be a challenging opponent for this United team, which is a very experimental group, because of the World Cup in Qatar. Pirates are laying siege to United on December 7, 2022 at 16.08. Yo-ho-ho -ho and a rum bottle. Sergio Gonzalez Soriano may use those as his first words when he meets up with his friends for a night out. The Pirates' victory will strengthen their self-confidence going into their La Liga season. Live, Cadiz 4-2 Man United the most recent reaction, match stream, and updates for today. With a friendly match against Spanish team Cadiz tonight, Eric Ten Hag and the Manchester United team ramp up their preseason training. Since the World Cup has been the focus of attention for the past three weeks, the first days of tournament action have seen some club side scuffles. There will be many opportunities for some to stake their claim for competitive minutes when the domestic campaigns resume because United is on a training camp in Andalusia with a group made up of youthful prospects and first team regulars who are not in Qatar. Another person who might yet have a chance to establish himself is Donny van de Beek. David De Gea, Anthony Marshall, and rising star Alejandro Garnacho are just a few of the players who are anticipated to play tonight. You can follow the mid-season friendly from Andalusia's Estadio Nuevo Mirandilla live here on our dedicated match blog. Things we noticed during Cadiz v. United. For the first time in 24 days, Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United club played in a friendly match against La Liga outfit Cadiz CF in Spain. Early on, United trailed by two goals, but Anthony Marshall's penalty and Kobe Mainu's strike tied the score, the latter coming barely two minutes into the second half and with a completely different starting lineup for the outfield than the first. Here are eight conversation points that came up during the game on Wednesday night at Estadio Nuevo Mirandilla, which the home team won 4-2. Team Ten Hag With 29 players traveling to Spain for the training camp in Andalusia, Eric has a sizable roster to choose from, but he largely decided to start with experience. Players like Victor Lindelof, Scott McTominay, Donny van der Beek, and Anthony Marshall were all included in the starting 11, which the United app announced much earlier than usual, at 16.30 GMT. The decision to start Martin Dubravka in goal may have been the only surprise, but Eric Ten Hag noted the Slovakians' strong performance against Aston Villa in their recent Carabao Cup victory and added that it was good to challenge all of his players to see what they could do in his pre-game interview with Much. A new ground was activated. The Reds were visiting the Nuevo Mirandilla for the first time, and they were playing the team whose supporters refer to as Los Piratas. It's a little stadium, but unlike other La Liga venues we're accustomed to, like the Bernabao, Camp Nou, and Wanda Metropolitano, it's located right in the midst of Cadiz, 
just a few streets away from the stunning coastline and ocean. The blue and yellow stands, which don't have much room to spread out their imprint, climb sharply into the sky. United's traveling fans, numbering about 600 of the 14,648 spectators, were dispersed across the stadium, with the home fans behind the goal creating the most noise. As Cadiz quickly jumped out to a two-goal lead courtesy to contributions from Carlos Garcia and Anthony Lozano, that was turned up a little more. The spots marshaled cool. After Ashraf Hakimi's calm shootout winner to advance Morocco against Spain in the World Cup, Penenka penalties have gained popularity this week, and Marshall's penalty attempt midway through the first half was no exception. After some complex play, Zidane Iqbal was pulled down by Luis Hernandez, and the Frenchman was given the ball from a distance of 12 yards. After an injury-related slow start to the season, Marshall is anxious to get back in the scoring column. If he keeps completing his opportunities with this much composure, there won't be any need for concern when the season picks back up. The youthful age of United Spanish team, which includes many members of the team that won the FA Youth Cup last year, has been a major topic of discussion. Following their introductions at halftime, six of them were given the chance to make an impression alongside several players with prior first team experience, including Shola Shortire and Charlie Savage. With McTominay's departure at halftime, Dubravka assumed the armband for the second half.